All right, everybody, welcome back. So, two more Magox are being added to Israel this patch because they didn't already have enough. And, you know, that got me thinking about, you know, what a great lineup Israeli 9.3 has. And I thought I'd go ahead and talk about lineups and how to perform well in Tank RB in general. Now, you can see I just went ahead and sped up this clip right here. If you look at my team, you can see they aren't exactly in the best shape. Many of them have already died. Many more are going to be dying while I'm speeding through this right here, like three times speed or something like that. And I don't know if you noticed, but a disturbing amount of them are not respawning. This is the biggest thing at top tier, or this, even in tanks in general, not necessarily at top tier. If you want to win, you need to respawn. Having a solid lineup, you know, with tanks, AA, and planes is crucial. And actually using it is the other part. I mean, look at our team. We've lost all three caps already. We only have, like, what, eight people on the ground now? And with the 16-player teams... That is not good at all. And we're losing more as time goes on as well. Now, I'm trying to do my best to go ahead and at least take back A. But the problem is, at this point, we've just become outnumbered. Now, me personally, even though I'm responding, I can't do anything about that. That's why I'm trying to get this message out there. If you want to win, you need to respawn. That is one of the most important things. And that's one of the issues with selling these higher tier premiums, is that many people will not respawn. Uh, they'll just go ahead, spawn in once, and if they die, they just leave. Now, I would recommend using those backups that you have saved up to go ahead and keep respawning because, you know, the longer you stay alive, the more RP you get. RP is all time based, even though SL may not be. But you can see, I'm trying to clear out this cap right here. You know, I'm shooting them. Everything's going good. I'm going to die here in a second. But if you look at the team, we've lost well over half our people right now, and they only have maybe three gone on their team. So, now, next thing is going to be, you know, being perceptive. One of the big things is sound, at least for me. In many cases, you're actually able to hear people coming before you can see them. I'm going to go ahead and hush up for a second. Now, just listen to this. Attention to the map. Now, you can actually hear the engine of this turn before, well before you can see him. And I was able to look back and forth and figure out his rough location even before, you know, I was coming to the trees. Which is why I already had my gun pointed straight at him and I got his barrel right here. Now, I do get trolled by, I don't know, volumetric or his something inside here in a second, but you get the idea. One of the big mistakes I see a lot of people doing is playing with music and tanks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flash my sound settings up on screen, just so this is what I use so I can actually hear before people are coming. Uh, but engine noises are a huge and really an easy way to tell when someone is coming. I've actually had cases with my friends before where I'll tell them to shut up for a second. I'm like, okay, hey, there's about to be a guy coming around this corner right here, and then five seconds later, someone comes around the corner and we shoot him. Just because I was actually listening. Audio is an incredibly important and, to be honest, vastly underappreciated way to go ahead and go about things. Now, another thing you got to be aware of, of course, is where he belongs on the map, because he actually dropped Artie on B right there. Now, it may not kill anyone, but I had a feeling there were people up there. And so, what Artie can do is go ahead and splash people and give you those little hit markers in the map. Just so you kind of have an idea ahead of time of exactly how many people you're dealing with. Because you don't want to round a corner at full speed expecting you to shoot one person and all of a sudden you have four people pulling their guns at you. That's just not good. Another huge thing that not nearly enough people do is pay attention to the minimap. That person I just shot and killed his breach on, I mean, he, he may not have been a massive threat, but just hypothetically speaking, I wouldn't have known he was there unless I had been paying attention to the minimap. That little red icon that shows up is very important. Same thing, you know, whenever people mark the map, all that kind of stuff, pay attention to it all. Now, this guy right here behind me in the Abrams, you can't see him right now, he's actually either not going to pay attention or just not care. But you see, that Leopard 2A4 in front of me just got marked, and this Abrams is just going to go ahead and charge him. I'm even machine gunning just so he knows he's there. So I, I think he knew and just didn't care, just, just thought he was invincible. But you can see he's coming right now, and he's just going to run around the corner like a chicken with his head cut off and get shot. Now, <laughs> that does let me push and shoot him, but don't be that guy. Especially at these high tier tanks, you know, 10.7 or so, you're not, your armor is not going to satisfy you most of the time. These tanks were not designed for a close quarters combat. Their armor was not designed to work like this. They were designed to sit, you know, on a ridge somewhere with their, just their turret exposed, shoot, and, and pull back. Unfortunately, with the way Warthunder maps are laid out, most of the time we're not getting that kind of combat, and so your armor is not going to hold up. Now, another thing is smart smoke use. Don't just pop smoke willy-nilly. What I did right there is I knew I was going to be coming up to B right here. I didn't want to get shot in the back, 
So I went ahead and I popped smoke, and then I'm going to go ahead and go up and shoot these guys. That way I, I can shoot them and not have to worry about, you know, people coming out of their spawn. Because I'm visible from their spawn right now on the cap, because great map design, guys. You know. After shooting both of these guys, by the way, just shoot through the engine if you didn't know about that with APFSGS. It generates plenty of shrapnel and you have more than enough pen. I figure, you know, let's go ahead and play a game, shall we? And now for the game, do I A, sit on the cap for two minutes, B, head straight towards their spawn, or C, do I wait nearby for someone to get on the cap and let me know that they are there? If you answered C, you are correct. I'm going to leave the capture point. Capture points, yes, they are a great source of, you know, spawn points, which is the big thing for me, at least we'll be talking about this in a little bit. Uh, they're a great source of RP and SL as well, and if they're not one of these battle caps, or if there's not enemies nearby, by all means, go ahead and grab them. The problem is they also put a massive target on your back. The entire enemy team is going to see hostile team is capturing zone B, just like I'm seeing right here, and now I know, hey, there is someone there. Do not sit on the battle ones, especially, and if you're fighting a bunch of enemies, it's honestly better to not actually sit on there. Go ahead, drive on it, drive off, let the enemies go to it. Another thing that helps is familiarizing yourself with what you're fighting. Uh, for example, whenever I'm fighting, you know, T-72s and T-90s, I know they don't have much gun depression. And so, for example, I thought this guy was pushing up the hill and wouldn't be able to shoot me. That's why I went ahead and pushed. I got lucky there, and he didn't actually kill my breach, and I killed his. But that is just something to keep in mind. Go ahead and use the enemy's disadvantages to your advantage and vice versa. If you're in a tank with a ton of gun elevation, for example, you might go ahead and sit at the bottom of a ridge where no one else can aim their gun all the way up. Now, remember how I was saying earlier, if you're sitting on the cap with the target on your back? That's how I knew that Puma was there. Someone was sitting there pinging because they're trying to capture the point and they can't get it. So, just guys, do not sit on a cap. I see so many people doing that and it is a massive, massive mistake. Now, I am going to get myself pinned down here by a couple enemies. One of them is a BMP-2M. I hate those things. He's actually going to be the one that kills me here in a few minutes. Uh, but he's using the terrain to his advantage. I can't see him. Like, literally, I see where the missile's coming from, and I still don't see him until he actually starts shooting again. That is exactly what I mean. That's, he's being a good player right now, and he is using that terrain to his advantage. He can missile me. I can't really shoot him. Now, I do see this terms coming, and I'm going to use my terrain to my advantage you see how he's coming up this hill right here he cannot shoot me and i'm just able to pump a shot straight into the bottom of his uh, vehicle of course now the bmp does take out my barrel incredibly annoying i go ahead and use smoke again you can see the only times i've used smoke so far are when i am trying to block the vision of someone else uh, and i am not able to shoot if i am able to shoot back i do not use smoke it is a massive mistake to go ahead and just smoke up willy-nilly you're better off being able to see the enemy and know what they're doing than to just not know. Now, I do die here, and it's really unfortunate because uh, if you check the spawn points, yeah, I was so close. The last thing I want to talk about is the spawn points. So if you look at the FIV, it cost me 830 spawn points to spawn in, right? The 87E didn't go up whenever I spawned. It still has 685 spawn points. They have separate spawn point pools. I would recommend bringing one of each. Don't bring two fighters because that will double the cost of the fighter. Uh, same thing, don't spawn drones. They are not worth it. 750 spawn points for two hellfires, that may not even work. Be smart with your spawn points to your most valuable resource. Being able to spawn multiple times, like I said earlier, is the key to winning at top tier. In any case, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I got a little surprise for you all coming up. So let me know what you think down in the comments below.